A lot of you have been curious about some patent from Microsoft that on the internet people are referring to as the 666 patent, the patent of the beast, that people on the internet are saying this patent is about implanting microchips into people. So I thought I'd actually look into it because, you know, I love patents and then anything related to you know, the devil is fun. Just, you know, gird your loins. I hope that wasn't dirty. I don't actually know what loins are. You don't either, do you? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, first off, uh, here's actually the patent publication that everybody is talking about. Um, it's a publication. Uh, it's not actually a patent yet. So this is just a patent application being published by WIPO. But this is what everybody's talking about um, when they talk about this 666 patent of the beast. And what is this patent about? Well, it's about a cryptocurrency system that uses uh, body activity data from a person as part of crypto mining or, or data mining. Now, I'm not an expert on cryptocurrency, so I'm not going to teach you a little class on cryptocurrency systems. That's beyond the scope of this course. Um, actually, the title of the patent application is Cryptocurrency System Using Body Activity Data. Um, so, I'll give you a, kind of a higher level view of what's going on first off. Uh, before we get started, I did want to note that this patent actually, there's a US patent application that was filed first for this. Um, and you can see here that it was uh, published in March of 2020. Um, and uh, it was actually filed. Here's the filing date because I can't remember what the filing date was, but I circled it at some point. So here's actually the filing date. So it was filed in the US first. Then it was, it was um, published by WIPO as this international patent application publication. All right. So first off, does it have the number of the beast in it? 666. Well, you can see the number. There are three sixes. Where do these three sixes come from? Well, I'm assuming, you know, 666 is like the area code of the devil, I'm guessing. You know, like the 212, the 815, I don't know, the 666, I'm not. There are three sixes in it, separated by zeros. Um, some people are saying that this WO stands for World Order. And it does not. Um, it actually comes from WIPO. So WIPO stands for World Intellectual Property Organization. So the WO, I guess, stands for... Um, world organization, which is very different than world order. <laughs> so I did search through this and I didn't see the word vaccine used or vaccination used in this patent publication. So let's look at the big picture here. Um, if you look at this figure one, this is kind of showing you the big picture of what's going on in their patent application. Um, and what they're trying to do is, is use people as part of cryptocurrency systems to do uh, crypto mining, I believe. Uh, they say, for example, a brainwave or body heat emitted from the user when the user performs a task provided by an information or service provider, such as viewing advertisements or using certain internet services, can be used in the mining process instead of massive computational work required by some conventional cryptocurrency systems, data generated based on the body activity of the user can be proof of work and therefore a user can solve the computationally difficult problem unconsciously. Okay, so if you're looking here at figure one, like the thing that most people are really talking about is what's going on with the user and this sensor and the user device. Okay, so that seems to be, because people are saying there's a chip that's implanted and then they can monitor you a lot. I mean, there's, I mean, it's the internet. You get, they're saying all sorts of things, but let's actually dig in. First off, let's talk about the user device. So 
what could the user device be? This is that 130. Well, the patent application says that the user device may include personal computers, servers, cell phones, tablets, laptops, smart devices, e.g. smart watches or smart televisions. Okay, so that's what this patent application says the user device can be. Now this sensor, which is element number 140, I think that's what people ha have people really excited, is this sensor. Okay, so the sensor can be configured to sense the body activity of a user. Alternatively, sensor 140 may be included and integrated in user device 130. For example, user device 130 may be a wearable device having sensor therein. The sensor may transmit information data to user device. All right, so it did not say that the sensor was implanted. Okay, so this task server, they're gonna send tasks from this task server to users, to people. What kinds of things might they send them? Okay, task server provides one or more tasks to device of user over communication network. The tasks include, for example, but not limited to watching or listening information, like an advertisement for a certain time, using services like search engine, chat, bot, email, social media, networking service, and any other internet or web service, uploading or sending information or data to a website, server, or network, or any other information or service which may produce effects on a user. Okay? So they could send a lot of those different kinds of things to you, to your device, and then just see how it affects you so that they can get this body activity data, it sounds like. Well, the body activity may include, for example, but lim not limited to radiation, emitted from the human body, brain activities, body fluid flow, blood flow, organ activity or movement, body movement, and any other activities that can be sensed and represented. Did you guys catch that? Just a minute. Um, blood flow and organ movement. That I mean, that could mean, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, that just, I don't want to be dirty, but it sounds like, you know, I don't know. It just sounds like something, mm, okay. Examples of body radiation emitted from the human body may include radiant heat of the body, pulse rate, or brain wave. And when they talk about brain waves, they talk about beta waves um, that are in logical thinking and conscious thought, alpha waves, which related to subconscious thoughts, theta waves, it's involved in deep and raw emotions, and delta waves, which can be involved, which is involved in sleep or deep relaxation. So if you're having a scary dream, they're gonna, I would think that like, holy crap, he's, or if they're, you're having, if you're having a dirty dream, they might know. Well, so that's my quick look at this um, Microsoft patent that people are talking Which about. Channel? Today, right. we're gonna to be talking about the Microsoft 666 patent and how it was just rejected by the US Patent Office. It was for cryptocurrency system using body activity data. If you haven't seen my video on the Microsoft 666 patent, Please go watch it now and then come back and pick up right here where you left off. So the U.S. Patent Office sent out a rejection on the Microsoft 666 patent, the U.S. version of that. It was actually mailed out on June 12, 2020. They are given three months to respond, but they can take it out as far as six months. Now let's just dive in and look at the individual rejections from the U.S. Patent Office. So the first rejection from the Patent Office was under 35 U.S.C. 101, which is a subject matter rejection. And what this really means is that they're saying, like, we think what you're trying to claim here is an abstract idea, and it's too abstract for you to get a patent on. So, you know, you need to respond to that. So this 101 rejection is not really uncommon. I mean, you see a lot of these. So this is something that Microsoft will probably just respond to in their next response. 
I actually have kind of a fun example of a subject matter issue in my web series called the IP section. So I will put a link down below, go check it out. All right, so the next rejection from the patent office was a claim rejection under 112. Okay, so this 112 rejection um, was based on the fact that the patent office thinks they have omitted an essential step from their claims. And so in order to address this, Microsoft would need to be able to add in that step that the patent office thinks is missing or argue against it. Okay, so that's the second rejection they got. So the last rejection from the patent office was based on 35 USC 102. And this basically means that the patent office thinks somebody else invented this first. And the document that they cited as being, as showing the invention that was invented first is this document from Neurogress, the Mechatronic Systems Control via Neural Interface, published in 2018. We are actually going to take a look at that right now. So the publication that the U.S. Patent Office cited as having invented this first is from a company called Neurogress out of Geneva, Switzerland. So they basically have a neural interface that uses artificial intelligence uh, in processing your brain waves to control things. <laughs> this sounds crazy, <laughs> but that, that, that's what they've got. Um, so this little gadget that I've pointed to, you put that on your head. Um, I think kind of like uh, Jordy and Star Trek, just kind of put it on there and you can control stuff, right? So that's what their invention is. So in this document, they talk a lot about prosthetic devices. So like a prosthetic arm that you could actually control by using their neural interface. In this block diagram from the document, you can see how this device, this neural interface is actually put on someone's head and then it's used to then control a device based on their brain waves. I think this is real stuff too. I know it sounds like it's Star Trek, but I, I think they had this stuff kind of working. This Neurogress neural interface can be used to control all sorts of different things. Like in this document, they talk about how they could use it to control robotics, drones, prosthetics, smart homes, a very broad application. Now the patent office cited a number of parts of this document uh, as relevant to rejecting this Microsoft 666 patent. And we're just gonna look at one of the portions that was cited because it ties in the crypto mining that was talked about in the Microsoft 666 patent. Neurogress aims to issue its own cryptocurrency within a year after the TGE the cryptocurrency will support mining functionality where the proof of neural activity concept will be put as the mining algorithm core. 